and you're watching Aspire, the show that brings you the best in lifestyle and luxury. I'm Abha. And I'm Vikram. Here we are with this fresh edition. We are coming to you from TGIF in Mumbai. Let's see what's lined up on the show for you this time. We tell you how to live it up along the coastline. The best reads and movies, handpicked by our guests. But in the spotlight this week is a lot of colours. We're seeing a change in season. There's the spring and summer coming up. We are going to see a lot of colour, aren't we, Abba? We are. And we're also going to see it in your wardrobes because confectionery fashion is really where it's at. When I first heard the term, I thought it sounds so delectable, so exciting. And then I just got really confused. But what is it? Exactly. I'm still not understanding it. Exactly. So to clear that confusion, I went and met up with Anaitha at Vogue and she totally cleared it all up for me. She told me how to make this summer really fun and how to best use those bright colours. Cupcakes, macaroons and candy. Sometimes as pleasing to the eye as the taste buds. All the brightest colours come together to make the most luring sweets. So what happens when candy literally turns to eye candy? Moreover, confectionery fashion. This is a term and concept inspired by the worldwide trends seen across luxury brands like Louis Vuitton that recently launched their spring-summer collection based on colours like yellow, pink and blue. And Indian designers like Tarun Tahiliani, Gauri and Nenika and Mahika Meerpuri are portraying this trend in their designs. I've done this whole palette of candy colours which like macaroons and marshmallows and like bubblegum pinks and yellows. It's lots and lots of colour. And it's very fresh, very young. Keeping in mind with today's trend, it's just very fresh. I think it just gives you a liveness to the collection. So it's one thing to experiment with bright colours, it's quite another to get it right. In fact, Vogue's March issue covers confectionery fashion extensively. So we ask Anaita Shroff Janya, fashion director at Vogue, to tell us more about the connect between confectionery and fashion and how to carry it off as a part of one's regular wardrobe. Oh wow, mm. look at these. What's this all about? You were, you were telling us about confectionery fashion That's and right. I can see it's become a, a theme that's prevalent uh, also now in stores. But we don't know too much about it yet. So what's it all about? Why is it the next big thing? Well, you know, fortunately for us at Vogue, you know, we go to the, the, in the shows abroad in Milan, Paris, New York and London. Right. And there are certain trends that just jump out at you. And confectionery colours, I mean, you know, it's a nice little package, uh, was one of the biggest ones right. this season for spring-summer uh, 2012. So if you see our March cover story, it's all about beautiful colours that have been influenced by right. confectionery. Okay. Whether it's French macaroons and lavenders, pistachio, uh, salted caramel, all these, you know, form a beautiful, delicious palette. Right. Uh, and that actually has now translated into clothing. Okay. You know, whether it's whether it's a clean silhouette mixing in colours or one colour head to toe. Mm -hmm. But it's also about the little embellishments. Okay. You know, very often now in India we see cupcakes that have baby butterflies or flowers on them. Yes. And if you look at the clothes this season, there's a lot of cut work, there's a lot of 3D elements. Mm -hmm. So all that together has created this uh, quirky, uh, whimsical style. Okay. And the colours have okay. all been influenced by contemporary. I can see all the colours already. Yeah, it makes you hungry. Yeah, it does. You want a cupcake immediately. So basically, I mean, you know what's interesting about this trend is that there are so many ways you can interpret it and so okay. many ways you can wear it. You know, there's of course starting with the classic head to toe, okay. where you choose one colour and you know, maybe wear it with green shoes, I mean, right. you know, to go with the whole look or offset it with a tan bag and a, you know, a tan A shoe. bit of contrast. Exactly. If you don't want to invest in everything in one colour, right. you can always throw in. So the same applies for these fresh colours. I Again, love the peach, it's such a gorgeous colour. It's and it, so and, summer. And also works beautifully with like, you know, coral or turquoise jewellery. Okay. So it just adds that slightly more island and could, feel. And you could dress it up. This could Absolutely. be both day or night wear, really, right? Yeah, or is it, it more well, day? It, it could think? be a chic lunch right. and then evening right. wear. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't be casual, I think, no, because yeah. of the fabric. But the shape and right. colour is But as in beautiful. you could use the theme for yeah. evening or for Absolute. day. Absolutely. Oh no, totally, totally. Yes. Okay. 
So, I mean, here we have an example of a very classic evening dress. You know, again, what's important to see is the variation of shades. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily the, the most saturated colors. Okay. It could also be a blush or a light version. Mm -hmm. I mean, same with, with, uh, with the coral, it could be, a, you know, a light peach. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's what you have to choose based on what suits you as right. a person. Right. You know, it's, it's very important to personalize your look, make it about you, so, not okay. just about the clothes. So find one that you like, you have exactly. a range available. Exactly. Okay. So the interpretations are huge. Okay. So here again, it's a very classic dress. Any woman of any age could wear this. And you know, uh, the subtle bling, which uh, most of us Indians love, yes. uh, just gives it In fact, something you don't more. even need much more with that. You don't I need think. much more, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So again, and then then we come to, you know, if, you, if you're not comfortable wearing just one color mm -hmm. and the emphasis being on that, it's nice to break it up. So, you know, like amazing uh, white, wide leg trousers. You know, throwing them with like a shock of uh, color. You know? And this yes. could totally take you from day to night. Got it. You know, you it's could, a wonderful combination. Absolutely, and yeah. it's and it's also it's also a shape that makes your legs look long. And um, you can also reverse it. I mean, if you're daring enough, it could be the trousers that have the uh -huh. color okay. and the top that's a neutral. Okay. You know. Also, it's nice to work with your wardrobe and add a few elements to it. Again, here we come into something that has. Uh, you know, it has the colors, but in a print. Right, so a bit yeah. of texture. Exactly. So it breaks it up, even though it's a dress, yes. you see the tie-dye on the top, yes. and then it goes into a, uh, you know, a monotone at the bottom. Yeah, no, so there yeah. is, as you said, quite a lot you can do yeah. within, Absolutely. within the theme of confectionery fashion. And tones are important as well, right? You can use different tones and move from the lighter ones to even um, darker shades that would apply. Absolutely. This. It's not about wearing it in its brightest form. Right. I mean, like if you look here, there's a beautiful dusty blue, you know, but it's still, it's still got that, you know, uh, freshness. It's still got a summery, yeah. confectionery feel to it. Yeah. And again, you know, this is something where if you wanted to pick it up, you might deem it with a slim white belt. Right. So it brings yeah. it back to the whole pastry, uh, chic. I was uh, just going to say, how does it, how is it going to remind you? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, in the same vein, you know, if you're if you're not one for color, mm. you could always take like a, this is almost a pale gray, you know, with the 3D elements, yeah. and then add a fun pair of shoes, which have a dash of color. Very nice. You know, yeah. so just that that's the color that's doing the talking. Whereas the dress is still simple, the embellishment is you know pretty. Mm. So you can still classify as being dressed in confectionery exactly. fashion, even if you're but not it's, it, it's in just pastels. the accessories that are throwing off little hints that of, could add that yeah. extra. Exactly. You know, we've all had vile looking candy that looks <laughs> like this, so it totally works with that. And again, you know, just keeping in mind the quirky fun. I mean, look at this. Oh, nice. It's just adorable. You know, little ribbons, it's frayed really fabric. Yeah, and it's got a nice, um, it's falling nicely. It's exactly. not stiff at And all. The, the, the fun with this is you can either go all the way, mm. where you team it with another texture. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. obviously keep the accessories and that works, neutral. That, it that does works. work, it's okay. fun. Okay. But the option is that you don't need to do that at all. Mm. And you just stay with something very neutral, like just a simple a white vest. Nice. You know, your boyfriend's yeah. white shirt. It doesn't need to be... Uh, <laughs> So it, it really is, a, as Anahata said when she was starting off, all about what you're comfortable with as well as is yeah. key to anything to do with fashion at the end of the day, how you interpret it for yourself. And also I think the most important thing for me with fashion is to have fun with it. You know, That's I, definitely yeah, fun. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, it all becomes fun. Yeah. We have still a couple more items left. I yeah. can see something really colourful. Yeah, well this is actually, you know, where you get into like the whole fun part. You know, when you think of a lollipop and yeah. it's concentric That's so circles. True. That's so true. You know, so this yeah. is like... It's just crazy out there. Oh, it's nice, yeah. Again, you Sorry. know, a clean, simple dress. Mm. I love, you know, the open back. Beautiful. Nice. Maybe you just wear a nice bright colored bikini or nothing at all. Yeah. And so it's again, you know, a dress and it's timeless. Right. It's not right. just for this season. It's something you could wear repeatedly. Repeatedly. Yeah. Before yeah. we let you go though, I have to say, I know we're not focusing on the men today, right. but I couldn't help but notice this shirt and this has to be confectionery because it looks like a cake. Yep, or <laughs> it reminds me of the, the striped candy cane Absolutely. at Christmas. Yes. And you know, again, you know, going back to the whole quirky, whimsical side of fashion, right. these are little skulls. That's okay, you know, so the detailing. The yeah. trademark, yeah. which makes it fun. So yeah, it's candy, it's confectionery and it's 
bit crazy. This is a bit crazy. Well, that's that's what confectionery fashion is all about. You heard it from Anayatha herself. And if you want to know more, simply catch this edition of Vogue. We will take a small breather right now, but up on the other side, we are talking to women, asking them which are the female protagonists in films and books that they've taken a fancy to. Also an exclusive peek at a sailing catamaran that costs anywhere between 10 and 12 crore rupees. It's hit Indian waters as part of the Mumbai International Boat Show. We'll bring you that in just a bit, here on Aspire.